Well, Mark Robinson was that second half the way you'd imagined this six months ago when you took over at the stadium, <laughs> rocking in a three-one victory. No, you dream about things like that, but um, no, it was it was the atmosphere was incredible, and um, you know, obviously the second half performance was was pleasing. So yeah, it was it's been quite an emotional day, obviously with Jack. So it's um, yeah, it was it was it was great. And, players need to enjoy it and then we need to get back to work tomorrow. You still have to pinch yourself a little bit with the whole crowd, chant Robbo. <laughs> <laughs> I pinch myself on a regular basis, Chris, to be honest. Um, obviously the club means so much to me. So I'm regularly having to pinch myself. You know, there's things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis that kind of make you feel it's real. Actually, when I met someone about it, there's a thing called imposter syndrome, which is quite a real thing, actually. Um, and you do, and but it's a healthy thing. It's a healthy thing because you don't ever want to feel like you've arrived or you achieve things. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a nice thing. And a couple of the academy graduates showed real character today, Anthony Hartig and Will Nightgard. He didn't have the best of first half, but what a way to bounce back. Yes. I, not, I think not the best the first half is harsh. I thought we had a, we had a bizarre 15 minutes. I actually, and I think that's the thing everyone remembers the end of halves. I actually thought for half an hour it was just a really really good game of football. Probably too open. I thought they were better in the final third. I thought things broke down too easily for us in the final third. But we had a, a lot of opportunities in the first half for something to come to something, and it didn't quite happen. And I talked to the lads about that. And then for the last 15 minutes we. Um, just started doing some strange things um, but you know I talked to Ant and Will separately and um, I thought Ant's reaction was fantastic and so it was Will's he's gone and got a goal and assist and he knows what Will Nightingale is he's the second half Will Nightingale and um, you know and I just said to him make sure I don't take you off second half and I had no reason to. How important was it then to maybe regroup the lads at half time because you got exactly what you wanted from them in the second half didn't you? Yeah and, and, and you have to not be knee jerk, you know. I know they're good players, um, but mentally they can they can do things for various reasons. And it was so key that I just made them realise, you know, how much trust I've got in them and what good players they are. And as I said, Will's got an assist and a goal, and I thought Ant was an excellent second half again. So, um, and they've got to kick on from that now, and they've got to keep that belief and, and be the best version of themselves. Anyone who's been down the training ground will have seen the brilliant finishing of Jack Dudoni. He's starting to show it on the pitch now, isn't he? He is, and, and Jack just needs to remember what sort of player he needs to be. And today he was that sort of player. So I'm just a, as pleased about the five headers he's won from defensive corners and and other work that he did off the ball because I know he's a really good footballer. And and, and a lot of the youngsters need to realise that. That's that's what they need to understand. They're the things we've got to work on because we can't. Listen, it's three points, and it's and there were some really pleasing things, but there are also lots of things off the ball we need to be better at. And um, and, and that's where you know that's where the nurturing comes and, and the learning environment, and they will get better. But for today, Jack's performance was a complete performance. And Ben Hennigan, he put in a vital challenge when it was two-one, I think, and also Nick Zanev made a vital save. Do you need to remember them as well. Of course, and they're key moments, and, and, and those moments are the things that, as I said, they've got to start understanding are so key, as well as you know headers and, and clearing your lines and and those things, the stuff that people don't. You know, younger players possibly don't want to talk about as much. How absolute they key are. And ben was immense, and Tans has pulled off a save when he needs to. But we also had lots of good moments as well. And I just think, you know, first half with a little bit more quality, we could have hurt them more so certainly in the first half. Of that. What can the squad take in terms of confidence from beating a really good team today? They are one of the best teams in the division. I think they're a, they're a fantastic side of them. They play really, really good football, so that they they need to take belief from it. But again. You, you can't take confidence from the three points, you have to take confidence from the performance and that includes looking again at the things that we need to be better at but you know it should give them the belief that again they go toe to toe with a side who we know are going to be up there um, and yeah they need obviously they need to take confidence and belief from them. What a lovely tribute to Jack Lonergan, the fans singing his name at the end there, it was yeah. great to hear wasn't it? Yeah and it's, it's so difficult to know what to say Chris because it, you know any loss as I said to you before is, is, is terrible but for someone so young it's, it's such a tragedy so you know it's uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's very difficult to say but I'm just so glad that you know it was it was a kind of a tribute to Jack in terms of the three points and the performance and something that we know if he was here he would have absolutely loved.